How does insulin react in the context of gluconeogenesis versus eating food? And how accurate, accurate is the off switch of the process after muscle demand ends? Firstly, there is really actually no off switch because there is a baseline level of uh, gluconeogenesis happening all the time. And I have to say this so often because there are influencers out there saying it's stressful on the body, which is such a load of rubbish. That's the politest thing I can say in a members meeting about those people because it happens every single second, gluconeogenesis. It's just the level of it. So when you're asleep, it goes up a little bit. But the baseline is about two milligrams per kilogram of body weight per minute. Yeah, that's right. So uh, so let's, let's let's have a look at that. So a 70 kilogram person, I've just written down a calculation, is making about 140 milligrams of glucose per minute from gluconeogenesis, which... Um, which the body wouldn't do if it was stressful. It's it's really not a silly element to talk about this uh, beautiful process in the way that it's allegedly stressful. So it isn't. 